Oh, oh I saw a shadow. I was like, what is yeah. that? Large eel. You can Poohy? see remember? Poohy, yeah. Yeah, there's large. I know, I saw the shadow. Can we get a too, zoom? Yeah, it's possible. Like, with the shadow, I was just like, am I imagining things? Well, sometimes if the organism is right against the light, it'll make it, like, even a shrimp will make the shadow. Go for zoom. It's a giant shark. Yeah, it's definitely an eel. Right on cue. Looks like it's in good condition. Mm -hmm. Compared to some of the other fish. Oh, no. That is an impressive wall. Yeah. I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> I believe this is a bath we saw our day. Trying to find a page for that. I heard bathy and I was reminded of bathy pathies. Bathy pathies. Bath pathies. Hmm? We saw several of those, but I just didn't mention it because we were talking. <laughs> the sympathies. Okay, I not find the ID for this fish right now. Uh, I swear I was under eel's other, but... Whoa! Oh, what? Oh, there's some way? It was just moving fast. Ah. Yeah. No, not bathy saw a day. Hallow saw a day. That's what it was. Definitely, uh, probably a ophidiformis fish. Now that's quite a long one. Let's note down the features. Very thin dorsal fin, comparatively thicker. And long. Uh, is it one of the catidic, the bathytidae family ones? But Look I'm not sure. Them. It's quite a long one. Not a macro unit. Definitely uh, Ophidiformis. Can you share a little bit about why these fish seem to have like very narrow tails of these deep sea fish, like the rat tails, and um, they also have like certain um, fins that seem to be modified as well? Yeah, uh, so it's just a particular group of fishes that we are looking at. So there are two groups. The Gadiform fishes, which has the family Macroeuridae and the Ophidiformis. So these tend to have this elongated body.